Good evening and a welcome to Compline on this Friday evening. Let's just take a moment to calm our hearts and our minds as we come to our Heavenly Father in our Compline service this evening. O oh Lord, you will keep us safe and protect us forever. I'm placing my soul and my body in thy safe keeping this night, O oh God. In thy safe keeping, O oh Jesus Christ. In thy safe keeping, O oh Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. I call on you, for you will answer me. Give ear to me and hear my prayer. Show the wonder of your great love, you who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hi, Teddy. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Light of my darkness, Lord. Let the light of your presence dispel the shadows of night. And let's have a look at what our little book from Nick Fawcett called Daily Prayer has for us today. Making a difference is what we're looking at today. Jude, verse 22, because it's only got one chapter. On some have compassion, making a difference. What do we ponder? It was only the smallest of mistakes, a single letter inadvertently inserted in place of another, but it made all the difference. Instead of reading, the bishop much enjoyed the singing. It read, <laughs> you've guessed it, the bishop much enjoyed the sinning. A potentially embarrassing mistake, but a simple reminder that it doesn't take much to give a different result than expected. Indeed, the verse above is a case in point. The New Revised Standard Version translates it to have mercy on some who are wavering, while the New English Bible goes on and says there are some doubting souls who need your pity. My own rendering leans heavily on the King James translation of the Bible and is probably the least accurate of any. Yet the message could hardly be more important. For if there is one thing that should characterise our lives as Christians, <coughs> it should surely be making a difference. It doesn't take much. A word here, a deed there, and the effect can be remarkable. Few of us will make an indelible impact through our discipleship, let alone change the world. But all of us, if our faith is what it ought to be, should make a difference somewhere. If it doesn't, something's gone badly wrong. So ask yourself, in what ways does your faith affect the way you live? In what ways does it influence your dealings with those around you? And before we pray, pray just a little story i was out with my dad one day we had gone to morrison's i think it was to buy some shopping and a chap walked past my dad and my dad gave him a great beaming smile and said hello and the man came back and said you are the first person in ages who has smiled at me and said hello outside and it's made my day a simple smile a simple word makes a massive amount of difference Let's pray. Living God, too easily I turned faith into a matter of personal devotion and fulfilment, forgetting that it must show itself in the way I live. Make time for prayer and worship. I read and study your word, but then I fail to go out into the world and make it real and make it the truth of what I believe. Forgive me, Father and help me to minister in your name, bringing peace, hope, help and healing, sharing your love and working in bringing your kingdom closer here on earth. In the name of Christ, I ask it. Amen.
Christ with me sleeping, Christ with me waking, Christ with me watching each day and each night. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Guard us while we are asleep, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in his peace. God with me protecting, the Lord with me directing, the Spirit with me strengthening for ever and forevermore. In the name of the Father precious and of the Spirit of healing balm, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I lay me down to rest. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with me this evening. I encourage you to pray for yourself as well as, as well as praying for others and to care for yourself as well as caring for others. And let's continue to pray for our world. It seems nature is fighting back with floods and fires and the, vol the volcano in Iceland. Let's pray for all of those people who are affected and are still living in war zones, not of their choice. Good night and God bless you.